Sir, if your jobs up, Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear participants. Welcome to this second day of virtual interactive session on effective preparations for the combined geoscience and geologist examination. Welcome all the participants who have joined till now, and I'll be hoping that uh, some more will join soon. In today's program, uh, we'll start with uh, effective preparation for geophysics uh, uh, for combined geoscientist and geologist exam. This session will be followed by uh, effective writing skills for uh, mains uh, by Srimati uh, Nidhi Mishra. This will be followed uh, by a lunch break and uh, we will have one another eminent speaker, Sri P. V. Sukumaran, who is retired DDG, uh, retired as a Deputy Director General in Geology Center of India, and he happened to be uh, in the in the uh, interview board of UPSC. So he will be sharing his uh, uh, his, his experience with you and how, uh, tell you how to prepare for the uh, interview again. Uh, this uh, interactive session with uh, Sri P. V. Sukumaran uh, will continue uh, till 3.30 uh, or quarter to 4. And then we will smoothly, uh, uh, from in that session, we will start uh, talking with uh, uh, our 12 geoscientists who have joined recently, especially the geologists, four physicists, 
four MAs and along with the faculty members from GSIT Training Institute, we will be interacting with you for about an hour or so. And at 4:30, we will have a small valediction of this program. So uh, I hope. So I hope uh, you will uh, interact with all the uh, participants, the presenters, uh, those who are on this side of the uh, session. We will talk to you definitely. To begin the sessions, I will invite uh, Sri Shivas, Shivastar, Mr. Rahul, Ms. Sneha Kumari, and Ms. Sandhya Jagannathan, who are the toppers from the Combined Geoscientist Examination of UPSC 2019, to uh, tell about in uh, about the effective preparation for geophysics in UPSC combined science, geoscientist examination. Over to you, Rahul. All the best. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir, for this uh, nice intro introduction. Good morning to all. My name is Siddharth Shwastav. I am a physicist in Geological Survey of India. Along with the rest of my three colleagues, Rahul and Ishneya Kumari, will be talking about preparation strategy, status, important topics regarding the examination by geoscientist and geologist the section geophysics so before going deep into the discussion i would like to say that you are there where we were so by sharing our experiences we want to reduce your time your effort to crack this examination i want you to just consider yourself as an upcoming officer of GSI. So, listen like an officer. Have your pen paper and write down if you get anything good in the talk and if anywhere you get any doubt. In the of every slot, we have just open discussion for you and you will invite to ask any queries. So, now this is the pattern of examination. All well known about this pattern. It consists of three stages prelims, mess, followed by interview. So, for next 40 to 45 minutes, we will be talking about prelims and mess section. And for interview talks, we will have another session. And to be connected with us, we will just Take care of this session. Okay. So now the prelim section. Total marks will be of 400. This section consists of two compulsory paper, GS and main section. GS is of 100 marks and main paper is of 300 marks. It will be followed by men's. So Rahul and I will be talking about prelim section. Now, so we will be take care of the prelims. Rahul and I will be talk about the prelims. It will be of out of four hundred total marks, and objective. It is objective in nature. So. They just try to find out the what is your analytical skill in the paper. So, yeah. Now, the prelim section. It is the syllabus of prelim section. Consist of six broad topic: earth geophysics, natural matter in physics. Third topic: electromagnetism. Geophysical prospecting, remote sensing and thermodynamics, physics in, and radiometry. Now, slide actually, there is some technical error.
प्रशांत प्रशांत एस आर यू रिक्वेस्टिंग टू एनोडोट द शेयर कंटेंट actually uh, somebody is uh, asking for uh, annotation share content but please wait uh, we cannot do right now just let the talk finish let the talk finish prashant s please mute your mic all right uh, may i request all the participants to kindly maintain the same discipline which was maintained in yesterday During the e-lecture sessions, be on mute. When you have query, you can unmute or put it in the chat. And for that, specific time is. Speaker will request you to ask any questions. This is the time when you may start asking questions. Before that, it is requested. Kindly be on mute. Note. and secondly you do not require much annotation so uh, let us uh, wait till the session ends for any such request thank you so much siddharth you may continue please thank you okay there is some technical error we are just resolving that okay so i told you earlier that this paper consists of the topic solid earth geophysics mathematical method in geophysics electromagnetism geophysical prospecting remote sensing and thermodynamics nuclear physics and radiometry so why is not changing you are audible you may continue please okay so now uh, among these six topic i will be talking about basal topic solid earth geophysics mathematical method in geophysics and geophysical prospecting which is rooted connected to geophysics now first broad topic is solid earth geophysics now there is sub topics in this solid earth geophysics is looking very broad in nature and instead of having that pre examination you must concentrate over all the topic like all the topic are important to you because they try to ask one or two question in each and every section but still some topic are most important in this topic because the questions frequently asked in that section number of questions in a single paper also higher than the other section topics are gravity magnetic field elastic wave type and their propagation in this topic earthquake and their cause focal depth epicenter intensity and magnitude scale these are very important in nature and they try to ask very basic question tricky question question which need to solve these are azir just yeah just off your mic please so now the fundamental rules which must be for the preparation of this section is fundamental of geophysics authored by williamson lorry authored by william lorry and applied geophysics by tanford 
introduction to global geophysics by CMR Flower. Okay, so as in this section, solar system origin, formation, and characteristic of the planet, there is eight or nine pages in William Laurie. You can go through that pages, and it will just benefit to you. As I was giving the examination, I just follow those pages of William Laurie and I just get benefited and hope the same for you. Now, the as I have prepared sample of the questions for you, last papers, just to show you that how we must tackle the questions. Like first question, Bohr's law is associated with. So this is very basic question. This is very fundamental question directly asked from the book. That is William Laurie. Okay. So answer is in front of you, distance between two planets. So this is directly asked from the book. Now the second question, which branch of geophysics deal with the internal structure of the earth? It is not directly from the book. So how we should tackle these questions? How do we just go for the answer type of questions? Like we must go through the options. First option is active reflection seismic. Second option is active reflection seismic. Third option is peso seismology. So there is two terms used here. That active and the passive. What is the meaning of active and passive here? Active means you are using any artificial source, and passive means you are using any natural sources. So, if you want to know about the internal structure of the earth, you must go to the deepest source possible. And what can be deepest source? That is earth cube. And that is natural in nature. So, what will be the correct answer? Passive seismology. So, if the question is not directly from the book, what you followed, like William Laurie or Telford, then you must be tackle these question in this way. Now, next, uh, next slide. Uh, this is third question. It is looking very long, so it may be possible because of this long nature, you can leave this question. But it is not like that. It is very simple in nature. Like all the quantity is given in front of you, just calculate the moment magnitude. Okay. Now, what will you get? Moment magnitude will be higher than 8. So, what will happen? Seismometer will just get saturated for the body wave and the surface wave. So, the magnitude of the surface wave will be given by 8 and the body wave will be given by 6. So answer is very clear. So, now the fourth question. The power of the earth cube of the magnitude 7 is higher than that of the 5 on the reactor scale. So difference between these two magnitude is two. So what is the approach of solving this question? You can approach this question only when you remember the formula. So formula is also as important as your fundamental and basics are. So what is the formula? 10 into the power 1.5 into difference between the magnitude. And that's come closer to 961 times. This approach you must follow. So what have learned from these questions, like first question, this question is directly from textbook. Second question, this was not directly from textbook, but how we must approach these type of questions. Now, third question, this is looking long in nature. So how can we tackle these type of questions? Fourth question shows us that formula is also important to us. So four point, you must be note down here that Question can be asked directly from the book. If question not asked directly from the book, we will approach through the options and we must not leave the question by looking long into the nature. And for that formula is retention of formula is very important to us. So kindly make a note. Whatever means irrespective of that, how many times you are studying. Just make the notes in every time while you are studying. Even you are studying your notes, make an, another notes until your 60 pages notes come into the single page. 
So this approach must be followed to crack the examination. Now, the second broad section is mathematical method in geophysics. This is looking long in nature, but one benefit is here. If you can see that if you are here, all the students come from their bachelor background. And as we know, in geophysics, most of the candidates are from mathematics or physics background. So they already have studied all these topics. So you can be just get benefited yourself by this. By this topic, it will take hardly 10 or 12 days, 15 days to take care of these topics, to revise this topic. So just go through that because once the question comes from the, here and you get solved that question, it will absolutely benefit for you. Matrix, property of matrix, they directly ask. Even by, uh, they give four of the matrices and ask which one is orthogonal. So you must know about the property of matrix. Now, I have also some suge book suggestion here, like Advanced Engineering Mathematics, Admin Kerji, Introduction to Engineering Mathematics, HK Das. So these are common books. You can go through that books and revise all the topics which you have already studied. So what I've seen in these two broad topics that you just have to point out the most important section by yourself, by revising the paper, that which kind of question they are asking there. So revise all the topics. And with that, you must keep in your mind that each and every topics are important in the pre-examination because they try to ask at least one or two questions from each and every section. So you must be familiar with each and every section. This is the very basic and fundamental question. It is also formula based question. You all must be knowing about these questions, the solution of these questions. So these type of questions, they are going to ask to you. Now, the third and the last topic of the geophysics is geophysical prospect. So, as we see in the first section, as I told you, that gravity and magnetic are important to you. Like that, some fundamental principles in which section are there also important to you, like electrical method, electromagnetic method. If they are using any instrument, any approach there, then what is the basic principle behind that? Fundamental of seismic method, seismic law, energy proportion, reflection and transmission coefficient, reflection and reflection from layer media. These all are important to you because these are fundamental of the geophysics. You must be knowing the very basic concept of these topics. Now, what book you must be followed for well logging? These are Petrophysics by Paul Glower, Fundamental of Well Logging Interpretation by Oshera, and Basic Well Logging Analysis by Oskir. So these are some books you can be easily get from the e-commerce website. And if you're not getting there, you must go for some alternative book. Like if you are not getting Paul Glower, Oskir is also best for you. So just go for the options, whatever you may achieve easily there. So this is what the about the geophysics. I hope you have written your queries, you have written your important point. So if you have queries, then please welcome to all of you. Just ask to us. We will try to resolve all your queries. So now good, the session is good morning, sir. for you. Sir, I'm Aditya from Andhra University. Okay. Sir, in you discuss about the mathematical methods of geophysics. Mm -hmm. M M Electro yes, sir. M -M mathematical method. Okay. Yes, sir. Mathematical method. Sir, in that you didn't explain about the preference of inversion theory. Inversion theory. Okay. Yes, sir. So okay, okay. I am just taking care. Okay. Sir. Sir, inversion theory. 
it is very best that you must go for your class notes okay because that will be sufficient for you that will be the enough for you if you are not getting any topics from your class notes just go through the net by using the single topic it don't need to follow any book but still if you want to follow then some books are there like richardson the books by the richardson so you can follow the book otherwise you can go through the class notes and that will be the sufficient for you okay, okay. next Thank question you, okay welcome good morning sir yeah good morning uh, sir my question is yeah. that uh, is there any for the paper or answer paper we can we like to suggest for this paper can you sorry my dear can you can you speak loud sir can you suggest for the paper or any mcq type books for uh, mcq yes sir yes. okay okay for mcq the best uh, way is to solve the gate paper previous year gate paper that will be the beneficial for you like uh, yeah i will show you just uh, this paper uh, this question the third number question is the repeated question of the gate, gate paper so if you go for the gate paper you will not only the get the number of the mcq question but also it is a possible that you will get the repeated question in the next generation so it will be the beneficial for you and the next approach what i followed in my preparation that make a group of the people make the group of the candidates of five or six candidate and just have a two week and prepare the questions by your own self then what will happen you have five sample of the question papers and solve them okay this approach you must follow oh thank you now next question thank you sir 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 can we get previous year paper of these geo physics these are online available on the upsc site so you can get from there easily okay sir okay. Okay, thank Hello, you. I am passing this to uh, yeah. I am passing this to Rahul. Hello, sir. Uh, for uh, further discussion, for further uh, speaking, for further talking. Okay, so Hello, welcome sir. to Rahul. Please take care of the physics section. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> uh it was a brief uh, introduction of geophysics part at the preliminary stage by Siddharth Srivastava. I think you get benefited out of it. Uh, I am Rahul. Geophysicist, Geological Survey of India, Geological Survey of India, and I'll be talking about the physics part at the preliminary stage. So, as my friend Siddharth discussed about and talked about the book's strategy about the geophysics part, in the same way, I'll also be talking about the physics part. And you will know that there are six topics at the preliminary stage. Out of the out of those topics, three are from physics background. So the physics labels, physics subjects, you can say. And there are only five and six topics. And 120 questions are asked at the preliminary stage. Each consists of 2.5 marks. So there are six topics, and each topic you can assume 20 questions, and 20, 22 questions would be asked. So in that case, you cannot leave even a single question from a single question and single part of the syllabus. So, like for example, we we need to talk about the, these three topics: electromagnetism, remote sensing, and thermodynamics, nuclear physics, and radiometry. First, let's talk about the electromagnetism. In electromagnetism, you can see there are only five, six topics. And out of these, three, four questions would be asked from each topic. Like displacement current, Faraday's law of electromagnetism, Maxwell equations are really important. You, every year and again and again, they would be asked. So max, there are four Maxwell equations directly or indirectly question would be there in each examination. So you can do one thing. You can focus more on Maxwell equations, uh, properties of uh, displacement current, conduction current, difference between uh, boundary conditions of uh, uh, electro electric field, magnetic field. So you can focus more on this, but you cannot leave in a single topic. So, and there are books that are uh, being uh, referred for this, these topics. First is in electro Introduction to Electronomics, authored by Griffiths, then DC Tile, Electricity and Magnetism by DC Tile, and most importantly, previous year papers with solutions provided by physics by physics, they are freely available for GATE and GEM. And there are short notes with important formulae for competitive exam from physics by physics. You can also download freely there. The why I refer 
these two books because sometimes this DJ graphics is not being followed in uh, some state universities. So there you can refer DC tile, but in most of the state universities and metropolitan cities, the DJ graphics is being followed. So you can go for DJ graphics also. And I have I have three questions from the previous year examination. They are uh, most importantly they will not be asked again uh, for your exam, but this will act as a source of impetus for you to prepare for this examination, and it will augment your confidence, and you will go for the preparation. So first question: two charges, they are placed on a line AB, and you have to find the equilibrium point. So in that equilibrium point, this is twelfth base question, and you will directly apply the formula that F k q1 q2 by r square so you will directly get your answer okay in the similar way as i talked about the maxwell equations so there are two questions which is directly asked from the maxwell equation which is indirectly asked from the maxwell equation so you can go with these two uh, questions also like you can see the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction you, you know that emf generated is directly proportional to flux change in the system so it's d phi by dt and phi is b into area so db by dt so change in magnetic field will produce a electric field so you can go such such interpretation like third third question which will be which of the following equation will remain same when we change the medium if you look at the option a c and d if you look at the option a c and d you will find there are mu not epsilon not features in the equations so you can say that this will be affected if we change the medium only equation two which will not be changed with the change in the medium so these these are very simple questions are generally asked at the preliminary stage so you can revise more and more mcq next topic is remote sensing and thermodynamics the most important you can say topics in this these three equations stephen Boltzmann equations Wien's law and planck's law so and planck's law has some important advantage like if we reduce planck's law so it can be reduced at stephen Boltzmann law and at the same time means law this is very important uh, concept so there are only six, six topics and five questions will be generally asked from each topic. So you cannot leave any single questions. So you, you have to revise all the syllabus. So uh, books for the remote sensing is Fundamentals of Remote Sensing by authored by George Joseph and Remote Sensing and GIS by Basudev Bhatta and Remote Sensing for Earth Resources by D.P. Rao. And Modern Animals and Statics, the book which is generally followed uh, in Delhi University and other state Punjab University and all these universities are Thermal Physics by Gaurav Bhansal and Ghosh. Second, Satya Prakash is also uh, referred for few topics which are not covered by Gaurav Bhansal Ghosh. And previous year, papers with solution from physics by physics for GATE and GEM. And there are short notes with important formulae for competitive exam, physics by physics, again for this topic also. And like the, in this question, uh, I told you the first question. Uh, the total radiant emittance is given by energy density is equal to sigma a t to the power four so in this this question is directly asked from the stephens boltzmann law as i mentioned very important topics directly or indirectly they will be asked in the second questions the uh, it is the application of wien's law wien's law says lambda b into t temperature is equal to constant so one lambda one and t one is given secondly lambda two is given so you have to find t two so these are very simple questions are asked at this planck's formula for black body radiation so you know the Planck radiation at large wavelength reduces to Rayleigh and short wavelength reduces to small wavelengths. So in, if you remember this small basic, you will be able to clear this question and you will be able to tackle this question very easily. Okay, like nuclear physics and third topic and radiometry. In nuclear physics, you need to know the properties of the nuclear forces. One question will be generally asked in at preliminary stage about the properties of the nuclear property as we have experience of only true prelim in gsi so for this examination so in both the papers new question on properties of nuclear forces is asked is binding energy very important semi empirical formula you cannot leave this topic so you have to revise and you have to solve as mock as questions as semi empirical formula and one question alpha beta gamma properties of uh, alpha beta gamma d decay and then and then again, one photoelectric and Compton effect last 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 year, pair production was asked. In recent time, Compton effect was asked. So in that in next year, you can expect that photoelectric uh, will be asked. So you can expect one and two questions will be asked generally on these topics. Right. Next is radiation detectors. Question like ionization chamber, counters, 
Giger Muller counter, properties of these counters, and what are the physical significance of uh, Giger Muller counter. So these questions, if you revise uh, on basic properties of the counters, you will be able to solve the questions. Like the books for nuclear and particle physics is nuclear physics authored by S. B. Patel, introduction to elementary particle authored by D. J. Griffix, and the source that I followed and I made notes out of it is uh, YouTube lectures by H. Verma. There are 43, 44 lectures on YouTube. I will, I will advise you just to make notes out of it and revise these videos because these are the most important videos and H. Verma sir covered Kenneth S. Crane, the brilliant book written by this gentleman. So you can refer and if you revise this book and revise this video, we need not to refer any source other than this. Teach your papers with solution physics by physics. This, this source is must. If you uh, do MCQ and there are a lot of practice MCQ. So if you do, you will get insight out of it. So you will feel that you have some, you will feel contented with the knowledge of the physics and practice of the MCQ. And there are short notes with important formula for competitive exams. Yeah, so these are these are the level of this is the level of question like first question uh, two spherical nuclei. This is the previous year question. So you can have some insight that what kind of questions are asked. It will, it will boost your confidence like the two spherical nuclei have mass number two, two 16 and 64 and their ADI A1 and A2. So you just need to have the ratio of A1 by A2. For this, you need to remember only one uh, formula R is equal to R naught A to the power one by three. So R naught is common in the both, but A by three to 216 cube root is six and 64 cube root is four. So six by four directly 1.5 will be the answer. So uh, this is very simple question. And next question at the same year, in the same year uh, is asked on the same formula. Like if you have the radius, uh, what will be the radius of the nucleus with atomic mass 216, if the nucleus radius is 1.5 femtometer, you know R naught 1.5 femtometer and R is equal to R naught A to the power one by three. So six into one point five, and you will get your answer. So these this these were the these were the questions asked, and this is the very basic question. If you remember the factual, if you have the factual knowledge, and if you remember the rest mass energy of the electron is 0.51 mega electron volt, and in pair production two electrons are being created. So you just multiply two into 0 0.51. So you would have your answer 1.02 mega electron volt. So this is the very these are very easy questions are generally asked, and. Take home tips for the prelim. Practice mock, mock test. There is no substitute of uh, practicing. You need to practice all, as questions, as many questions as you can. Because MCQ, if you solve, so you will feel, uh, you will come to know how to tackle these problems because th some problems are application based, some are factual, some are application based. So in, th in those questions which are application based, you will come to know how to tackle those problems. And I have followed two, three sources for MCQ. Uh, I, you can also refer like this gate through physics by Naveen Manasvi, sir. So this is a nice book, previous year paper with solution and some formulas and concepts are given at the initials of initial initial um, at the beginning of the each topic, each, each chapter and revised formula work on both accuracy and speed. This, uh, we need, we require at MCQ stage and avoid silly calculation mistake because you know, the formula, you know, the concept, when you go and applying, you do small calculation mistake and you end up getting your wrong answer. So. And revise, uh, revise formulas and uh, glance through the entire question <laughs> paper once before you start the before you start attempting the question. At the end, before uh, passing discussion uh, this talk to uh, my colleagues uh, Sneha and Sanjay for mains part, uh, I, I'll request questions and queries from you. And this discussion is for uh, open for you now. You can ask your queries and questions. Any question? You have any doubt regarding prelim stage physics part? Hello, sir. I, yeah, right. Question. Uh, I'm from geology background, and I would like to ask you what to follow for uh, the gate exam in which we have a part of geophysics, like uh, how that is required. Physics part. Yes, sir. I'm in. Ge I'm from geology background. So there's a part 
of geofilling gate. Okay. So what, what in that? You can refer, you can refer basic MCQ. Uh, there is a book, uh, book uh, amazing, Kurt, amazing. Okay. And you can ask a few uh, these questions uh, from uh, fellow colleagues also. They would be talking about this uh, in details. Like Sneha would be talking about uh, geophysics part. So you can ask these questions of, related to geophysics to her also. Okay, sir. Thank you. Any more any more questions from? Any? Okay, if I, I don't have any response from the participant side, so I wish you good luck before I pass it, uh, just talk to uh, my colleague uh, Sneha. I request Sneha to take on uh, for the further talk. Thank you, Rahul. Uh, good morning to all the faculty members of Geological Survey of India Training Institute and my dear participants. I am Sneha and I will be telling you on detailed examination geophysics section. And the physics section will be discussed by my colleague, Ms. Sandhya. So friends, GSI requires a lot of hard work and it should be done in a tight direction. So today we are here to guide you for this. For students who are completed or pursuing their masters in geophysics discipline must have full confidence in geophysics section. I will be telling you today about the syllabus of the geophysics portion of the paper, important topics, related books, followed by sample portion. So let's get started. In the exam, there are three papers. Each paper has two sections, geophysics section and physics section, each of 100 marks. The geophysics section has four subjects. We we'll start with the first paper, and its first subject is solid earth geophysics. Here, I have highlighted the important topics by analyzing the previous year paper. The topics are solar system and its origin, Characteristics of planetary members, Earth, its rotation, figure, age of Earth, various methods of determination, tectonics, gravity field of Earth, isostasy, geomagnetism, elements of Earth magnetism, internal, internal fields, their causes. You can get all these topics in fundamental geophysics by William Laurie. These portions are mainly covered in chapter one and two. For paleomagnetism, polar wandering path, seafloor spreading, geophysical evidences, internal structure of Earth, variation of physical properties in the interior of the Earth are broadly given in book An Introduction to Global Geophysics by C.M.R. Fowler. These two books are very good books and standard books for geophysics, sub subject A, solid earth geophysics. Here I have uh, taken a sample question from previous year paper. Draw P wave velocity, S wave velocity, and density variation with depth from the surface of the Earth with a net sketch diagram. It's of 10 marks. So this uh, you get answer from the internal structure of Earth. And uh, you can get answer from either of this book, either from William Laurie or CMR Fowler. Next subject is earthquake and engineering seismology. Important topics are earthquakes, focal depth. Epicenters, rate in an earthquake, international scales, energy of earthquake, elastic rebound theory, fault plane solutions, seismicity and seismotectonics of India, financial relation, velocity structure, PBS study, elastic waves, near propagation characteristics, diatensy theory, short term, middle term, and long term predictions, seismic microgenation, and different types of seismometer. These are all the topics of well covered in Fundamental of Geophysics by William Laurie, Chapter 3. And uh, you can also opt uh, Micro Earthquake Seismology and Seismotectonics of South Asia by G.R. Kayal. I would advise you to cover only those topics from Kayal which are not covered in William Laurie. The sample question is define magnitude of the earthquake. See, friends, this is very easy question. It's a very fundamental question. And you can get answer either from this book, William Laurie or G.R. Kayal. And write an empirical relation between magnitude and intensity. This is given in William Laurie book. That is IMAX is equals to 1.5 ms minus 1.8 log 10 h plus 1.7, where IMAX is the intensity of the earthquake, MS is the surface wave magnitude, and S is the focal depth. 
The third subject is mathematical methods in geophysics. Its important topics are properties of scalar, vector, and tensors, element of the vector analysis, gradient, divergence curve, Gauss divergence theorem, Stokes theorem, all the solution of Laplace equation in Cartesian cylindrical and spherical polar coordinate. These sections are well given in mathematical physics by H. K. Das. And further, current and potential in Earth, basic concept, equation of electromagnetism, equation is boundary condition, polarization, EM field of loops of wire on half space, multilayer media, impedance and applications are well given in introduction to electrodynamics by DJ Griffith. And I would suggest you to practice numerical from these two books as much as you can. Because it has been observed that they generally ask numericals from section. Here the sample question is, See, this is a very basic question, uh, Maxwell equation for free space in differential integral form. Uh, it's very well given in either DJ Griffith or HK Das. You can take a re reference from either of this book. Geophysical inversion. This is the last subject of first paper. These important topics are basic definition of inversion with application to geophysics, formulation of inverse problem, inverse problem, least square solution, minimum norm solution, Constraint and linear last square inversion, review of matrix theory, model and data space, up to single val value decomposition. Uh, these parts are well covered in geophysics data analysis, discrete inverse theory by William Menke. Further, uh, generalized inverse, Gauss Newton method, step and descent gradient method, all the local optimization and global optimization techniques. You can either take reference from uh, internet source or your college notes. Uh, I would advise you, if uh, you have a geophysical inversion as a subject in your semester, then go for class notes. Here's a sample question. Define single value decomposition and verify the SVD given matrix. It's a very easy question and it's given in William Menke. And uh, you have also read in your semester. Uh, you have a Jacobian matrix. Uh, G is equals to U, Q, U, uh, V power, V transpose. Where U is your orthogonal matrix, Q is your a diagonal matrix and again uh, V transpose is your orthogonal matrix. Just put this matrix into your formula and you will get your answer. So, friend, this is very easy and uh, it's of seven months. Coming to our second paper, subject that is geophysical potential field, gravity and magnetic. Here, important topics are principle of gravity and magnetic methods, geoid, choroid, nature of gravity and its variation, intensity of magnetization, inductions magnetic potential and its relation to field, origin of magnetic anomalies, Poisson relation, accessibility, matrix accessibility, matrix minerals, rock classification, natural and permanent magnetization, airborne matrix survey and magnetic gradient survey, seedborne survey, gravity and matrix reduction data, IGF correction, and separation for regional residual anomalies, ambiguity and interpretation. Again, uh, I would recommend uh, for this topic, William Laurie book, mainly chapter two and five, and you can also take reference from uh, book Applied Geophysics by Telford or an introduction to geophysical exploration by Philip Carey. And uh, I would advise you to practice numericals uh, for this section from Gate Book by Amrish Singh. There is a sample question. This is very easy and very fundamental. Draw and explain the gravity and magnetic anomaly curve over a semi infinite horizontal seat structure using level diagram is very well given in Telford book. In subject of paper two, electrical and electromagnetic method. The main topics are resistivity methods, fundamental laws, vertical electrical sounding, origin and application of self potential survey, origin of induced polarization, and its type, IP, chargeability, positive frequency effect, IP induced polarization, and dipole theory of IP, electromagnetic method, magnetoric method. It's a passive and active source, Maxwell equations, wave equations, all the types of method like a deep angle method, Turing method, moving source we call as a slingram method, AFMG, audio frequency magnetoric method, and vertical loop method, input method, EM profiling and sounding, and principle of ground penetrating radar, origin and characteristics of magnetoric field. All these uh, topics we will get uh, in uh, Telford, and some parts are also to be read from Laurie Chapter 4. And for the mandatory 
uh, I would advise you to follow mandatory uh, practical mandatory by Simpson and Barr because this book is uh, stick to the syllabus, GSL syllabus, and uh, it's very nicely and up to the point up to the syllabus is given in this book by Simpson and Barr practical mandatory. Here's the sample questions. Very fundamental question is given in Telford. When induced polarization in terms of membrane and electrode polarization and divide the term chargeability and metal factor. Uh, this question is of 10 marks. So you can uh, easily score by getting this question. The third topic is seismic prospecting. And uh, important topics are basic principle of seismic method, reflection, refraction, its coefficient, and propagation model of exploration seismology. Seismic data acquisitions, process of energy, geophones, geometric array, instrumentation path, travel time curves, correction, NMO corrections, CDP, data processing correction, and seismic topography. For seismic data acquisition, I would advise you to uh, opt uh, exploration by Brian J. Ivan. And for tomography, you can take reference from William Laurie. And for the basic principle up to the reflection and transmission coefficient, are uh, nicely covered in William Laurie. And for processing interpretation, go for your class notes, or I can, or either you can uh, do from Dobrin and exploration geophase by Gadala and Fizer. Uh, these two books are very good books, and you can either go for either you can go any of these books. And uh, again, practice numericals from the seismic prospecting because it has been observed that they frequently asked uh, numerical question from this path. Here, the sample question is. Describe the methodology for common midpoint or roll along shooting in seismic reflection survey with suitable diagram. It is uh, given in William Laurie book. So, and it is up to 15 marks. So, you can easily uh, do this. Moving forward, this is the core subject of second paper, geophys global geophysics, that is, principle of well logging. And its uh, highlighted topics are fundamental concept in Borwell's geophysics. Its conditions, properties of reservoir rock formation, for formation parameters, their relationships, formation factor, or the porosity, permeability, water saturation, irreducible water saturation, hydrocarbon saturation, residual hydrocarbon saturation, Archies and Humble equations, and the all the types of logs, either uh, open hole or case hole, like SP log, resistivity, micro resistivity log, acoustic impedance and propagation logs, temperature logs, caliper log. Um, this is a standard book for well logging. That is spectrophysics by Paul Grover. Or for uh, advanced log, you can take reference from fundamental of well logging interpretation by Osera. And you can practice numerical from these two books also. Here is a sample question. What do you understand by potential, potential log? It is, uh, you find the uh, answer of this question in Paul Grover chapter. There is a separate chapter of so self potential log. So I would advise you to please go through thoroughly with uh, this book, Paul Grover or Osera. Here come to the third paper. This is the last paper, and uh, it has also four subjects. The first subject is radiomatic exploration, A1 geophysical survey for geological mapping. And the topics are radioactive decay process, units, radioactive rocks and minerals, instruments, Medicine chamber, GM counter, gamma ray spectrometer, radiometric prospecting for mineral exploration, its environmental applications, or its logging methods, its uh, radiometric dating techniques, and the uh, geophysical survey, planning of surveys, sensor, data correction, application in geological mapping, interpretation of maps, identification of structural features, altered zones. You can cover this portion of the syllabus from book William Laurie, chapter four, or from Telford, chapter 10. This, instrument, this instrument, instrumentation part are very well given in Telford, chapter 10. And uh, for airborne surveys, I would suggest you to go with the paper Airborne Geophysics and the Indian Scenario by BSR Murthy. Uh, it is uh, easily available online, so you can download from online. And here is the sample question. Uh, what is radioactive series is a very basic question and it is given in Telford. And it has been asked for 10 marks. So you can easily score this type of uh, by doing the, this type of question. It's the third subject that is the geophysical signal processing. And its important topics are various types of signals, sampling theorem, aliasing effect, Fourier series and transform, its properties, 
auto and cross relation, delta functions, jet transform and its properties, inverse jet transform, all the types of filters that is low pass and high filters, and regional residual separations, continuation, upward or downward continuations, evolution derivative that is first and second derivative, reduction to pole and equator, and last earth as a low pass filter. Uh, one standard book will do this job and uh, I have listed here the single analysis by Tarun Kumar Rawat. It's a very good book and or, I would suggest you to go please uh, thoroughly go thoroughly with this book. And for residual residual separation up to the earth as a low pass filter can be found in Telford, Robin or Laurie. Either of these three books will do the job. And for regional residual separation, page number 84, William Laurie is given there. And in page 26, Telford is also given Telford book also. And for the continuation part, uh, you can take reference from page 144 from and Brooks. And here is the sample question. This is a very basic here. Describe inverse jet transform and drive the equation for expression for inverse jet transform using the difference method. And after five months, you can uh, get answer from this uh, Tarun Kumar Rawat. This is the last subject of third paper that is the remote sensing and GIS applications. And important topics are fundamental concept of remote sensing, electromagnetic radiation spectrum, and frequency wavelength relationship, Boseman Winslow, electromagnetic energy, its interaction with the atmosphere and its vitarian features, geosynchronous and synchronous orbits, resolution, thermal scanners, microwave, remote sensing, fundamental of image processing, and interpretation for geological application. Here I have listed three books. These three books are the fundamental books, and you can opt any of these books. Fundamental uh, of remote sensing by Geo Joseph, remote sensing and GIS by Vasudev Bhatta, remote sensing for Earth resources by TPR. Here, this is a sample question. Explain geostationary satellite orbits and the sun synchronous satellite orbits and the application in remote sensing of 10 marks. Here is the sample answer. See, first I do subheading, like uh, they ask for geostationary satellite orbits. I try to answer in platform and separate application. You can write. Separate. Great application in remote sensing. Then uh, separate like separating of sun synchronous satellite orbit. The application try to supplement your answer with the different diagram. So that's all from my side. Uh, gather all the resources. Sugata Kumar Sina, please mute your microphone. Gather all the resources yeah, and start believing yourself and start preparing for today. So, if you have any queries or doubts in your mind, you may please ask. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning. Ma'am, can you explain about the marine geophysics? Which topics you have to cover? You didn't explain that thing for marine geophysics. For marine geophysics, uh, these are the important topics. Sorry, I skipped them. Uh, it's a combination of lorry uh, and uh, you can take a reference from the internet source also for uh, introduction to sea flow features uh, physiography division of sea flow continental cells uh, and advisor planes and uh, osmotic anomaly sea flow spreading wine matthew hypothesis and uh, one had a phone processing data density interpretation and seabed mapping seabed sampling navigation method and position location method uh, this part is well given in ivan a reference from internet also. Any other question, please? Uh, script part, we have to write it as our description part in May's exam. Uh, try it, always try to answer in point in bullet uh, forms, okay? Precise can... and in bullet form. And okay. supplement your uh, always try to supplement your answer with well depicted diagram. And we can use color pencils in the examination point of view in mains. No, no color pencil, simple normal Natraj pencil. Okay. And uh, you can use a uh, single uh, for higher for heading, you can use a black pen. Yeah. And for writing answer, you black, can use blue black pen. pen is not Thank Any you. Any other queries? Okay, welcome. Any other queries, please? Ma'am, uh, good morning, ma'am. Yes. Good morning. Yes, Anindita. Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a query. Uh, the, the geophysics portion, which we get. 
sorry your voice is not audible your voice is fluctuating anitta your voice is not clear chat section yes yes you can type your yes. mess, uh, queries in chat section i will answer that okay okay now i am hello, passing to my yes, yes. hello ma'am good morning ma'am ma'am my name is shali chaudhary but... from kurukshetra university ma'am i want to ask okay. is there is is there a preferred way of uh, going through the books like if first i go through the lorry then to the telford because this would this or... will supplement the other book or i, I yes. can choose any other you can clear your basic from either of this book either william lorry or telford just uh, try to make uh, your notes handy to notes because handy to notes is very easy to memorize <coughs> any other question please okay now i am passing to my colleague miss sandhya and she will be talking about the physics portion sandhya please <laughs> Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sandhya Jagannathan, and I'll be covering the physics pattern and syllabus for the mains examination. Um, the difference between the prelims and the mains is that in the prelims, uh, they're so they sort of uh, these overlapping subjects are in more condensed format, whereas uh, in the mains, they're given in more detail. So, um, as both derivations and numericals feature in the mains part of the examination. Hence, uh, these topics are need to be prepared in more detail. Uh, so the mains examination has three papers. Uh, the first pa in the first paper we have uh, uh, four subjects, and the first subject is mathematical methods of physics, and it is one of the most important topics uh, because it overlaps with the geophysics syllabus as well. Uh, the important topics in this uh, paper is uh, complex variables and analysis, vector algebra, vector calculus, linear algebra, and matrices. And for these topics, one can refer to um, uh, advanced engineering mathematics by uh, Irvin Kresik or uh, uh, introduction to engineering mathematics by H.K. Das. And for numericals, one can uh, refer to Shom's outline series by uh, Spiegel. Uh, looking at past year papers, we see that um, a lot of questions come from contour integration or uh, uh, roots of differential equation or gradient diversion school of vectors. Uh, hence, more emphasis need to be uh, given to these topics. Moving on, uh, the next subject is uh, electrodynamics. And uh, in this subject, we find that the important topics are Laplace and Poisson equations, Faraday law of electromagnetic induction, electromagnetic vector and scalar potentials. Uh, there are standard textbooks for these uh, topics. And uh, this is uh, Introduction to Electrodynamics by DJ Griffiths. This book has various numericals and practice questions. So, uh, and it's also uh, uh, available in the market. One can refer to this book, uh, uh, and uh, and further, one can also refer to electricity and magnetism by Purcell. Uh, uh, Maxwell equations is one of the most important topics uh, in the subject because uh, a lot of questions come from this topic, and uh, uh, a question has come each year. So, uh, more emphasis need to be given to this topic. Um, in continuation of electrodynamics, we have electromagnetic theory, and uh, the same books can be referred uh, for this topic as well. Uh, that is DJ Griffiths or N. Purcell. Uh, questions on uh, propagation of EM waves or boundary conditions uh, come from this topic. Uh, the fourth subject in this paper is introductory atmospheric and space physics. And I, the ionospheric physics part can be covered uh, from fundamentals of geophysics by William Lorry. And uh, for GPS and basics, online resources can be referred to. Uh, the uh, the important topics are as uh, ionospheric layers or uh, plasma physics, which is one of the sub topics in this subject, uh, uh, is very important uh, because questions on plasma frequency also come from this uh, subject. Um, and sources of errors of GPS is one of the most uh, frequently asked questions from this topic. Um, Paper two of the uh, mains examination, we have the first subject, which is classical mechanics. And uh, in classical mechanics, we have uh, the important topics are uh, Lagrangian, Hamiltonian, special theory of relativity, moment of inertia, and the various uh, books available for classical mechanics, which are standard textbooks in various universities. So we have an introduction to mechanics by Kleppner and Kalankov, uh, which uh, which can be referred to mechanics of particles and Richard bod uh, rigid bodies. 
and um, further if you want to uh, understand a subject in detail you can refer to landau lifshitz and goldstein uh, ds mathur is also one of the most uh, standard textbooks in this uh, subject for introduction to special relativity you can follow electrodynamic introduction to electrodynamics by dj griffiths or snick um, and uh, you can also refer to dyer's physics notes which is available online um, questions from lagrange and hamiltonian such as the one given here are asked frequently uh, the second subject is thermodynamics and statistical physics and the most important topics are uh, black body radiation quantum statistics planck's radiation law um and uh, various questions are asked from these topics uh further questions on like entropy and partition function are also asked. so a special emphasis need to be given to these topics um the list of books uh, for this topic include uh, uh thermodynamics and statistical mechanics by richard fitzpatrick and thermal physics by gert bunsell and gosh uh the third uh, topic is uh, atomic and molecular physics and uh, uh questions from uh, you know ls and jj coupling atomic molecular spectra and the uh, stone gerlach experiment are asked frequently and for this uh, for these important topics one can refer to uh, atomic and molecular physics by banwell and uh, rajkumar so for example uh, the sample question here is asking about calculating moment of inertia and internuclear separation so questions from molecular uh, spectra uh, are asked frequently uh, in the fourth subject we have nuclear physics and in nuclear physics we have uh, uh questions from whether this reaction is feasible or not or elementary particles and parity conservation or binding energy liquid drop model are asked frequently and um, for basic understanding one can refer to concepts of modern physics by arthur beiser or for further understanding can refer to introductory nuclear physics by ks gray and uh, elementary particles is given uh, very nicely in dj griffiths so introduction to elementary particles by dj griffiths is a standard textbook one can also refer to that uh in the uh, uh in the third paper we have uh, the first subject is solid state physics and basic electron basic electronics and uh, in solid state physics you can uh, you, uh, it's very important to uh, study the different crystal systems on uh, questions from scanning and difference between scanning and transmission electron microscopes are asked uh, repetitively uh, further questions on uh, like different kinds of amplifiers or operational amplifiers and um, fet jd they are asked uh, frequently and for this you can also refer to uh, you can refer to charles kittel uh, which is introduction to solid state physics uh, and uh, you can also refer to the other books mentioned here uh, we have observed that questions on reciprocal actors also come frequently so uh, so emphasis and focus need to be given on these topics um, and the second subject we have laser systems and in laser systems uh, one needs to focus on uh, different types of lasers um, einstein's a and b coefficients different rate the, the rate equations um, and advanced topics such as questions come also from these advanced topics such as laser cavity modes um, mode selection <clears throat> um, and for these topics one can refer to uh, uh, fundamentals and applications ghatak and tyagarajan which is a standard textbook and also you can also refer to concepts of physics fc varma so for example a sample question like establish the einstein coefficients and the relation in laser which is of 10 marks uh, it comes frequently uh, in the third uh, subject we have digital electronics data systems and satellite communications so uh, the important topics are logic gates and two tables where direct on direct questions from logic gates come uh, uh you should also focus on radar systems and different frequency satellite frequency bands different satellite orbits and their inclinations um so uh, for digital electronics you can follow floyd boylstead uh, boylstead and malvino leach and for radar systems and satellite communications there are various online resources and you can also refer to this uh, introduction to satellite communication by abru sir uh, elbert um so a sample question like give the logic symbols and to two tables of a two input nor gate uh, for five marker this is a very standard question that we see in uh, the physics part of the examination uh, the the last subject in this paper is quantum mechanics which is an advanced uh, subject for many but if you focus on these important topics such as uh, harmonic oscillator eigen values and eigen functions particle in a box dirac's bryan kit notation so if you focus on uh, 
the uh, the linear algebra part of the quantum mechanics, which is given in MCJ. Uh, it'd be very beneficial for you. Further, you can also refer to Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by DJ Griffith. So you can also follow uh, Quantum Mechanics by Ghatak and Loknathan. So if you focus on these topics, it will help you score better in the examination. So for uh, the sample question, for example, if you have a sample question like discuss quantum mechanically, the problem of a one dimensional linear harmonic oscillator. Um, we have given a sample answer here. Uh, so uh, the, the, how, the way to approach this question is first you have to give introduce the problem. You have to write the problem first and then you uh, systematically go on building the uh, answer. And you, it's important to know that you have to number the equations. You have to write the steps in detail. Uh, you have to box important equations and you have to give correct explanations, proper explanation for uh, any uh, additional questions asked in the, uh, the same question. Uh, but it's also important to remember to stick to the two page limit. Um, uh, so that's all from our side. Uh, thank you for listening. And before closing the session, if there are any questions, we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, isn't any uh, sectional cutoff is there for mains for geophysics and physics? Sectional cutoff. Uh, there is no sectional cutoff. We, we need to attempt all the questions from this other given from the paper. Uh, no, no, no. There are choices available. You can, uh, 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 you can, they, they, they give choices to, uh, in both the sections. Okay. Separate. We have to maintain the ratio from the geophysics and physics. We have to give the same. Which are given for yeah, five in the geophysics, in the physics or five? There are three compulsory questions, three questions to be attempted from both sections and two questions are compulsory. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, I, I am from geology background, so how should I proceed for this vast syllabus of physics, sir? Uh, you're from geology background. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, you will be attempting the geophysics paper, are you saying? Yes, ma'am. I am pursuing, I have done BSc honors from geology and now I am pursuing geophysics second year. Okay. So, uh, so how I should go for this physics section? Uh, okay. So, if you look at uh, the three papers, right? So, if you focus on uh, certain topics which are covered in your bachelor's itself, like mathematical methods, which I have mentioned. So the important topics in mathematical physics, uh, which you, if you focus on it, you'll be able to score better. And uh, the certain topics like uh, electronics, which are also covered in bachelors or um, thermodynamics, right? So if you focus on those subjects, it'll be easier to score. But uh, uh, if you refer to the standard textbooks, I mean, it's important to cover all these topics mentioned in the syllabus. So uh, just gather your resources first, uh, gather all the books that are referred to, and then you can uh, uh, systematically study these topics from these books. Uh, and also uh, look at past year question papers also. Uh, that will help you to gauge it better. Okay, uh, yeah, just, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Good morning, ma'am. I have a question. Good morning, ma'am. I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, can you uh, and others uh, of panelists uh, share, uh, share what the general equation strategy is? And uh, what have the, you uh, I will request Anshuman and others to kindly mute so that the voice does not echo. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You may please continue your question. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was asking, could you and uh, others from the panel please share what strategy worked out best for you for preparation and while attempting the uh, actual paper in exam? Like uh, which section you approach first and so on? Uh, actually, uh, if, you, if you are from uh, physics background and you are going for this, uh, this exam, so just go for the physics part first. Because in geophysics part, you have to be selective enough uh, to uh, choose the questions out of four questions because there are there are choices like you have to do two questions out of four questions given in the examination. So in that case, you can choose the best topic, uh, the best you have, uh, best you top, topic you know, like you, there are four topics, nuclear physics, atomic molecular physics. So if you have the nuclear, uh, nuclear and particle physics uh, on your fingertips, so you can go solving for the, that question only. 
and for geophysics part, it's also uh, the same. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes, how please go ahead. Tackle, uh, how to tackle mathematical questions uh, in geophysics part and physics part, ma'am? Any uh -huh. separate book for the mathematical questions? I have to share it my session that uh, just go for the go for the gate book by Amrish Singh sir. Amrish Singh. There is a gate book and it it contains concentrated uh, questions and answer. So try to uh, solve and practice as much as you can from gate book. Um, yeah, you can also look at Shikidas and uh, Shams outline series. Uh, for mathematical, a... uh, you can uh, go for HK Das and Irving Krasik. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh, are there any more questions? Uh, if there are no more questions, yeah, uh, we will uh, yeah. Jagdish, do you want to ask something? Jagdish, see? No, madam, I'm not okay, asking. I I thought he's trying to speak. Fine. So, are there any more questions, please, for the physics or the geophysics part? Ma'am, uh, ask that question. Note in the chat box, please. Uh, be slightly yeah. loud, please. Uh, Ma'am, audible. Yeah. Uh, 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 this gives some advice for Hello, Anandita. Yes, Anandita, I will reply soon in chat box. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 That uh, which type of question is generally more asked in the geophysical signal processing portion? A specific question like Fourier transform, that transform, Fourier series, solve the Fourier series. They are very fundamental questions, and uh, these questions are generally covered. Examples of these questions are generally covered in uh, Tarun Kumar Rawat. I have featured a book in my session. So please, please go through this book. For signal processing, uh, you must go through the previous year paper of G GSI. Okay, that will be the beneficial for you. Means uh, they are going to ask a very fundamental numerical type of question from. So you must go through that uh, previous year uh, questions paper. Apart from uh, previous year paper, you can uh, go with the books also that I have suggested you. Okay. Uh, hello, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Ma'am, what is the interview panel for the expression for geophysics students? How it will be? Interview panel. That will be discussed in next session. So please with, be with us, okay? We have arranged a session for interview talks, yeah. So have patience and kindly uh, just uh, go for that, okay? Okay, okay. So thank you all for carefully listening. Uh, and me, uh, Sneha, along with my colleagues, Siddharth, Rahul, and Sandhya. Yeah, uh, all the best for every, all the best to everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you, the entire team from the geophysics stream. May I express the sincerest gratitude and thanks for taking out time and explaining the aspirants of the UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination. So Siddharth, Rahul, Sneha, and Snigdha, Sandhya, all four of you have tried to explain to the best possible extent regarding the syllabus, the reference material, as well as the study techniques to appear for the geophysics free part in the prelims as well as the mains examination.
Thank you so much. I'm sure it will be of immense benefit to the participants who have joined this virtual interactive session. And it will also prove useful for any of the aspirants who will be appearing for the exam either the next year or will be writing the exam for this particular session. And uh, it will definitely prove of immense use when you are appearing for the interview part. So thank you all. Now we will have a very short break. This is just to give a small break so that you can have some water. And uh, after five minutes, we will be starting with the session on answer writing skills. How to avoid some common mistakes while appearing for the examination. This session will be taken by me. So I will request the participants to continue to be, stay with us, be in the meeting, but you can have a break of five minutes and then we will start with the next session. Thank you to all. Please continue in the session. We'll begin in five minutes. Thank you so much. Okay. So we are where we did our classes. 